What's up everybody? Ryan from Tweak My Device. I want to show you how to use Radiocom. What is Radiocom? This is a special piece of software that only Motorola employees are supposed to have. This lets you edit the software radio on your Motorola device. This will basically let you change some values and get free undetectable wireless tethering. This method is confirmed to work on the Droid 3, the Droid 2 Global, and the Droid X. Now I did this on a Droid 3 yesterday and it worked perfectly. Today I'm going to demonstrate this on a Droid X. This is a stock Droid X. It's running 602. It's not even rooted yet. Take a look in here and you can see there is no super user. First, you'll need the Radiocom program. I'll create a link for this under the video. Just grab that. You also need the appropriate drivers for your device. Now, I'll post some links below the video for some drivers. So grab those, install, install Radiocom, reboot your PC, and then you can get started. I will say, as far as Windows PC versions go, I'm showing you this on this little Asus netbook. It's running a 32-bit version of Windows 7 Ultimate. It works great on this. I have not been able to get it to work on my Windows 7 desktop. That's a 64-bit system. So to start, just plug in your Droid X. We want to connect this for PC mode. And once you're connected, right click on the Radiocom program. And we're going to troubleshoot compatibility. And again, this is Windows 7 Ultimate 32 bit. So I was trying to install the PC drivers for this. I'm going to see if that finishes. If you're connecting your device to your PC for the first time, as PC mode, it'll go through this installation process for the drivers. Now we just select recommended settings and this is going to run in Windows XP Service Pack 2 mode. So we'll start Radiocom. We'll continue through that message. So this is the Radiocom software. It can be very dangerous to your phone. This can leave you with an irreversible brick device. So do not touch any buttons or click anything other than what you see here in the video. First we're going to go select MA, Common, and select the MDM 6X00 chipset base. Now this selection is for the Droid 3, Droid 2 Global, and Droid X. <clears throat> for the Droid 2 Global, there's an additional setting you need to go in here to USB and select this PST USB driver. That's just for the Droid 2 Global. So let's continue for our Droid X. We'll head over here to P2K4. And you can check Get and everything should be all green here in the dialog box. <clears throat> so just scroll down towards the bottom of this software and what we need to work with is this area right here. First thing you need to do is select the decimal entries. Make sure that stays selected. Alright, let's get started. 
For element ID, enter 8040. Record number 1, offset 0, and length 128. Again, we're going to check to make sure decimal entries is selected. And let's click this button to read it. That will highlight green. Now you have a long string here in this area. Double click it. Control C to copy it. Open up a notepad. I'm going to label this 8040. And Control V to paste that in there. You'll need that value again in just a second. Now we'll change the element ID value to 8041. Everything else stays the same. Hit the RD button again to read it. Double click that. You can control C to copy it. and control V. As you see these numbers are different. They both include the same number of characters. However, if you notice this section of code is different on each one. So this is how they know you're tethering is by these different bits of code. So what we need to do here is highlight the 8040 value copy that. We're going to go back to Radiocom, double click it, backspace to delete, and control V to copy the 8040 value in there. Again, check to make sure that you're on decimal, that has not changed, and hit ST to write. You can check up here in your dialog box Successful, no errors, that's great. So now we just go through and change this to 8042 decimal. We're going to read it. Let's just backspace that. Go back, grab our 8040 value, copy, and control V that in there. ST to write it and successful. One more and we're almost finished. 8043 still selected on decimal entries. We're going to read that value, double click, backspace, and it's probably still saved in the clipboard but I just recopy it. Software like this that has potential to destroy your phone, I don't want to take any shortcuts. Control V and ST to write that in there. Let's check up here. We got a successful message on that. So now that that's complete, there's nothing else you need to do. I'm going to hit restart and the phone reboots. Great, we're booted back up. We have our signal bars and our 3G icon up there. Let's go into our built-in mobile hotspot. This is a gingerbread version, so now that you've done this hack, you can just use the built-in mobile hotspot. There's nothing else you have to install. This is a very easy hack, doesn't even require root. So, just click that. This will give you the message about using a lot of data. Don't need to be reminded about that. So here you can change your security and your password. Just for right now, I'm going to make this open with no password. Let's look down here on our Asus netbook. Say I'm connected to my home network, so let's disconnect that. And here's our new Droid hotspot. You'll probably get a message that it's unsuccessful the first go around. Just give it a few minutes. You may have to disconnect and reconnect a couple times.
but usually if you just wait a minute or two it will go ahead and give you the connected message with internet access. See, it's trying. Now we've got limited access. Here we go. Very nice. I know this is a trusted network. I'm going to select home. Beautiful. But let's go ahead and check this out and make sure it works. We'll open up Firefox. And let's browse to a site. <clears throat> Great. There we go. We're tethering. So, proof that Radiocom works. This is reported to work on many, many Motorola devices. Um, I've actually read that it's supposed to work on all Motorola devices, except for the ones with 4G SIM cards. This will not stick on a 4G device. Sorry guys, only 3G. So your Droid 3, Droid X as you've just seen, and Droid 2 Global have been confirmed to work with this method. There may be many more I cannot personally confirm that work, but I can tell you that those three devices, this method works for free, undetectable wireless tethering. Good luck, guys. Subscribe to Tweak My Device on YouTube.